Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is lesson number 10. I think that's the right number this time. And uh, what I want you to do, I've, I've put the similar colours on what we've had before there. You'll see the ochre or the raw sienna, the ultramarine, the ultramarine plus the burnt umber as a mix, and then a weak mix of litter and crimson. That's all you'll need to start with. This is to get rid of the sky, which is two thirds of the painting, really. So there are your colours. I'll move that now and I want to show you what, we've, what we're doing on the picture. This is one of many Norfolk windmills. I live in Norfolk, so it'd be remiss of me not to include a windmill. This is a, a, a mill. There's dozens and dozens like this. And what I've done, you can see it's a bit dark there. Well, what I've done, because it's a, a, a sort of a... The sky going to cover there. There's a little bit on the top of this windmill, which is which is want to retain white and the sails white as well, and that ring there. The, the so what I've done, I've used something for the newcomers and that. I've used something called masking fluid. This is masking fluid. I'll show you this, and then then you'll see what it is. This is a blue mask. Now, what it is, it, it's a a pot of like a like liquid X, which is like the other carp copy X we used to put carpets down with. Oh. This is this is the stuff. And it's it's, it's particularly blue because it's easy to see on the white paper. Because the, the original one is white, which is difficult to see. But what I've done, I've coated dipped, dipped I've dipped an old brush in water, this one, into the water, then wiped it on a piece of salt like this which has protected the, the bristles. Now once the, uh, the bristles are protected then, that will, will safeguard it against the, the gluey stuff, which I'm going to put onto there. So I've put the dip it in there then, and then I can paint that, that area on top of the, the mill there, the little ring there, and then the fine stuff, which is difficult to do with a brush because it's a bit big, I've got something called a mapping pen. Now these are used by draftsmen and things like that for getting fine lines. This is a, this is a mapping pen. This I don't know if you can see it from there. Can you see it? I'll try and zoom in on it if I can. It's a bit like a mapping pen. It's it's got two two pointers like that. and then there's at the side there's a little little wheel which adjusts the gap, makes it smaller or broader like that. So you decide what size gap you want. Then you dip this into your into your fluid, your masking fluid, dip down there, and then you can trace, with your steady hand, all these lines which you want to protect against the, the, the paint that's going to come on in a second. So, r so right around across there, this little bit here, which is a framework to hold that wheel up, and then down these here, round here, round there, round there, round there, and then it's protected. I'll show you what will happen when we, we get later into the picture. But I wanted to explain that to you because there's, I know there's a lot of people out there who have never come across this before. Well, that's fine. Well, now you have. And when you get out, or you can send some of these online, so this is about a couple of quid. It's, and I've had that for years. So, so you don't think it's going to be expensive. I don't do expensive. I'm from Yorkshire. So just for that, I'll put that out of the way for now. Get out of the way so we're not mixing up with that. And the... And the and then, well, so when you finish with your brush, by the way, wash it in water, and then all the the, the liquid, the the sticky stuff, comes out with the with the soap you put on. So the brush is then being able to use again in the future. Right, that's enough on on the the masking fluid. So right, the colours we've got this time are just the same as last time, and that's what I've mixed there. Look, that's the raw sienna or, 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 or ochre. That's the ultramarine, and that's the ultramarine and the, the burnt umber the mixed together, which gives me a grey. And then a touch of pinky stuff, which is the illusion crimson, which is for the base of the sky, for pollution, if you like. Right, so uh, what I want to do to start with, let's, let's get cracking, shall we? We want to get, want to get moving. Water, this is on, on the sky. Now what I'm going to try to do this time is make the sky a little bit darker here, round where the mill is, because the mill, with being white on the top, will stand out. So we'll try and engineer that, if you like. But I want to just randomly put water on here. I don't want to, it's not a dodgy day, it's, 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 it's all right. 
but you, you get one or two clouds and that. So uh, we'll see where we're going on this. I keep wondering what to paint next, but uh, we, 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 we come up with something each time, so don't, don't worry about that. But over there, so I can go over there, see if it doesn't matter. So it's protected. Uh, right, now we've got that on, I can then dip in my lovely sunshine colour and put some sunshine in this, this place now. Touch of sunshine there. Clean the brush. Or I'll change the brush. No, I'll use a different brush. This time I'm going to put some, some sunshine, a lovely blue sky for a lovely day. Let's have some of this on here, shall we? Flick it on. And you don't worry if you need some white bits, because you, you get white bits on, on clouds and things like that, so that's fine. Because, it, it, because I'm working at a 15 degrees sloping towards me, it's, it's, it's creating wells inside that that uh, that uh, the cells of the windmill. Right now, when we get down to here, I want to slip in that pinky stuff just here. Let, let's let's get the bottom of the sky like that. Get the horizon there. That's our horizon. Paint over that doesn't matter because it, it won't take because we're, we're protected with that, that stuff I told you about, the masking fluid. So let's just try and get around these buildings if I can. And onto the horizon there. And I can, I can sweep some of this up into the sky there, like that, see. The light is coming from over my left shoulder, if you like, or, or, or there. And we're going to get uh, shadows or darks on the right hand side, the right hand side, the right hand side. So that, that's where it is. So I'm, I'm, I'm flicking some of this, this uh, weak alizarin crimson, or the pinky stuff, into the clouds there, which is, which is so shaping them a bit, that's, which is quite nice. And then just when you thought it was such a lovely day, I want to introduce some of this a bit of dodgy sky. Just a it could it could be a, a storm. But if it is, if you're an optimist, this storm is on its way, it's going. If you're a pessimist, of course it's coming. But we are optimists, aren't we? Even though we're locked down, we don't care. So let's put it behind that mill there to give it a bit darker there. It, it'll make it stand out more. I'll put this down to here. I'm not worried about that roof there. I'm going to put it darker anyway, so I'll cover that up. So this, this cloud is coming from the distance there, and it looks dodgy. That'll do. And I don't want it too much or it'll, it'll spoil the sky. I don't want to lose all my sunshine. It's coming around here. So it's, it's the, the sky is, is, is coming, it's gradually getting better. We're losing this, this side. Because we're optimists, aren't we? That's it. Coming down to the horizon. Blend it in a little bit. And of course, if, if you want to nitpick a little bit, I suppose you can put a little, some of this darks in from, see the sun's top left, so I might put some darks in here, see, around the backs of these clouds. That'll give you, your clouds some shapes, won't it? 
form a shape pick out the shapes get these lovely cloud shapes one coming up here And of course as, as, as you go further away as you know that the clouds flatten and they, they, they get narrower and thinner so it get, takes you into the distance so I don't want to fiddle I mean I hate fiddling it's once you start fiddling you've lost it I don't know that is there but it's stuck on the, on the paper I'll sort that out right so that, so we've got there we've got we've got that, that cloud as I wanted I wanted it to come sort of over there and come round behind there because that, that, that's that's a light coloured top. Now what I want to do now is, let's get that out of the way. Right, I think what we can do now is, is that, that should be dry enough around there I think. Yeah, well, well, I'll show you now, this, this masking fluid, because it, it, it's hopefully dry there first. Well before I take that off, I'll, I'll try and paint some of this, this, this shed in here and, and uh, Sort of that'll give that sky some more time to dry. Right, this is a, a, a sort of a shed with with like a, a pantal roof. So the pantal roof color is your burnt sienna. It's a it's a lovely color. It's, you don't want a lot. I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing on the palette. That's my color there. That's my raw sienna. My lemon. My yellow. My raw. Burnt Sienna, this one. Burnt Sienna it's called. And it's a nice Pantel colour. Lovely. So I'm going to use that. See, I don't need a lot. It's just here. On there. Not really, I'm not quiet, but I'm... I want to get my line straight there. Up we go. Let's get that in. It's not. It's not. A, it's. It's a bit rackety shed. This is. It's been. It's been there a while. You know. I mean, the the, the mills go back to sixteen hundred. Some of them. You know, they're really really old ones. Of course, there's a little little lean to at the side of that so we'll put this lean to roof on across there that starts that up let that dry a bit right let's see if I can I can see if I can take this off now if, if you look closely if I just with my finger I can I can take off the white stuff, see the or well, the, the the blue stuff, which reveals sort of a, a, a white behind it. So it's protected. That blue stuff is protected. Protected that against that dark coloured sky I was I was painting on. It's all coming off, and also what it's done is where the uh, where the, the the gaps are in in in, in between the, the lines of put on by the mapping tool, the sky is shining through. So the, you've got the sky there without having to paint each little square. It, it it it's all done for you because with that that masking for it now. Uh, all right, today you, you, a lot of you won't have the, 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 the masking fluid. So what I suggest you do is in this case, uh, paint your sky a little bit, paint this light back behind there and make these sails dark with a dark, dark uh, rig or something like that to mark bottom off. Right, let's see where we're going from here now. So the, the, the mill itself is, is a, a brownie colored mill. So we'll put that mill in. Yeah, buy me a brush that's something like, and I'm going to use that that 
colour we mixed with the with the ultramarine to paint the sky, that burnt timber stuff. I'll just use a touch of that in there. I'll better show you I'm mixing because I'm, I'm not, not mixing a lot, that's that dirty brown colour. Mix a touch in here like this. But before I paint it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash over that, uh, wash over this here with water. Then put the, the dark brown stuff on. Because it is our feature, this isn't it? Well, see, I've made a mistake there because I took the masking fluid off that cell, not realising that this, this brown is going to cover it. So I'm going to right kick pigs here that, but not to worry, I'll sort it out. I've got the technology. Right, that's, that's that. But then on the, the, the right hand side, because that's away from the light, I'm going to put a touch of that darky stuff where I had in the sky. Put some of that on there, just here. Because it's wet, what happens is you get a, a capillary action and the the dark will creep round the mill, make it looking like cylindrical, which it is, it's 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 a, a cone really. So that's gonna creep round there. That should leave us happy there. So that's the mill. Uh the building itself, I think we can have that as a a very pale uh same colour as, as, as the roof, but pale. All I've done is add a water to it, that's all you do. Good. There'll be some shadows going in later, so we'll sort that out. Same with the little lean too as well. We'll do that the same, the same colour. Right across there. Right, I can leave that a bit while it's while it's drying. Uh, now the top itself, uh, if I turn, I'll leave that to dry for a bit, and we'll, we'll put some put some sort of uh, landscape in. Now we need greens for this because it's 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 a, it's a green area, and let's see about some green. So I better wipe that palette there just to. Give me some areas to mix on. It's there. Always keep a clean palette. Every time I finish a painting, I clean the palette because I don't want the colours to contaminate the colours of the new painting. It's, it's, it's all fresh stuff. Right, we want a green, but we want a distant green. Now that's not going to be very very uh, in your face it's got to be it's got to sit back it's going to give us a recession so i'm going to put some of this raw sienna what we use for the sky touch of that in and then a touch of let's see uh i'll put some of this a touch of that that's a, a cobalt blue that like a cobalt blue a touch of cobalt blue in there should give me sort of a, a miserable green which is background. I'm always testing on a piece of paper first to make sure I've got it right. So that'll do to start us for, for me. So we can start across here like this. So it's a weak green. For simple reason, it's in the distance, isn't it? We don't want it to intrude that. And of course, as you come further forward, these greens get richer. So as we come forward, I want to mix some uh, 
cadmium yellow into that. That'll spice it up a little bit. Just into there. And also mix some uh, some uh, Windsor blue. That's that's a lovely rich blue it is. I'll put a touch of that in there. That should help with the with the foreground greens. Let's get nice and rich to start with. Right, see where we go with that. I'll just test it. Yeah, that'll do. Well, let's take this. There's a bit of a path here, so a bit of, I'll miss the path. Don't forget a lot of this is, is marsh, marshy land, it's, so it's, it's not going to be, it's not a lawn. So you can get that, uh, blend that into there, so it blends in. Same on the other side, link it with that one, the background one. Even further forward, that green, I can put in a touch of this uh, blue sky, so that that cloud stuff I've got in the sky, and pop it in, into the foreground here. That's this will bring this this green even further forward, just here. So it's stronger, so it's it's bringing it towards me. And I'm not wasting. I've got some stuff left there. And as I say, it's not it's not a lawn. It's it's all it's marshy lands and stuff like that. A little bit more of that in, I like that. Bit of dark there. Putting twiddle stuff in, you know, which is making it rough. Some up here like that. Right, that that do for that bit now. I think what I want to write is in the distance there are some uh, trees and bushes and that, so we'll we'll put those in next. So the really distant ones are sort of a. A, a bluey grey colour like this. This, this see, I'm, I'm using these colours I've got from the sky, and I'm, I'm mixing them together. And then some of these distant, distant bushes like that will be sort of this, this sort of colour. In other words, it, it creates depth. Some of this side here. It. It's not a complete science, so don't don't start putting robins in and things like that. It's it's just a, a backdrop. If you if you want to really really have a go, you can put one even paler than that, which puts the the bluey stuff even further back. Like this, look. That's even further back than that. The woodland. Right now, as we come closer, we want to get some some greens in there. So let's get some greens, and we can use this stuff we've got we've got uh, we've got uh, yeah, for the for the grass. So I'll start off with a, a touch of that. I'll pinch a touch of that. See any there? Some blue. And we'll, we'll pop in some some 
green, some trees and bushes and stuff like that. You can put some bush up here like that, see. Be nice, just a bit of a tree in the distance there. Where have you got that? You see, you can even put put a shape on there, top of that little shed. I don't know why they're having these sheds, but there's, there's usually a shed near the mill. And the, it's I, I, I might I've got this wrong, I think, because they're not mills all of these. They're what's called uh, wind pumps, and the, the the pump is actually draining the 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 marsh and that and and so that the, it, the cattle can graze on it so it's not at all boggy so so that's what it's for so it's a it's a, a, a drain mill not a not a, a windmill right let's put some darks in there dark on the top of it because don't forget where the light's coming from we need to be we need to be darker underneath don't we because the light is coming from the top left. So we're going to have some darks on the underside of this this hedge here, or this or this line of bushes and trees. This tree here would, look, would be dark under, under there. It's, I don't pull it all in. I can put some branches in there afterwards. Put it dark in there and some darks on the bottom here. And it, it, it helps to, to the shadows also help to make it sculpture it into like a three dimensional shape, which is what you want. You don't want a flat piece of green, that's hopeless. Just get it done like that. And what you can do now is you want, want a, a rigger to pop in a, a, a bit of a suggestion of a tree trunk here. Not, not too much, I want to see a little bit at the top here like this. That's all you need, it's not too far away, you're not going to put, put twigs in and bushes and flowers and that. It's, it's a, a suggestion. Now a similar treatment to this side here. I like building the picture up, it's, it, it's really nice because you, you can get you don't know what you're going to get, which is which is really nice. This is what I like about watercolours. Watercolours you never really got full control of, and you what you sometimes you get a happy accident, I call, and sometimes you get a total disaster. Uh, hopefully the disasters are not too close, or too often, I should say. Right, let's get twiddle this bit in here. I've got a bit of a pole here, so I'll move that. I don't mind the pole. I'll put another tree in there, that'd be nice. I'll put a bit of light colour on that side there, because the sun's catching it. So don't worry about the, the, the bits, we'll, we'll, we'll put something to hang on to in a, in, as soon as we get finished. Take it down to the horizon. Of course it would be nice if it, if it shows against that, that mill a bit like that. It'll outline that mill, won't it? As though some of the some bushes behind the mill. Just keep it going. Take it down this side here. And let's continue across the picture. Something just here. Using the side of the brush by that helpful because it it stops you fiddling. 
Just push it on there. There's a bit up there that what it's doing. Of want to we want some darks in the bottom here, don't we? Because it's we know where the light's coming from. And I've purposely made these a bit darker than that side because this edge is closer than that. And we we can't it's only two dimensional, but we've got to try and make it look three dimensional. So we're using it with colour. Keep it going. Keep the darks going. All this is is, is that same colours, but I've, I've mixed it with stronger colours and lean more towards the blue to give me a darker colour. Right, let's get that down there. Some of this, some of these areas here, where we're to away from the light. Round here. It's blending in. What it's still wet, it's, it's, it's blending in really well. It's softening if you like, it's... If I want to sort of get a, a harsh line, I've got to dry it. Now, what I've also done there is, you can see, I've gone on to the, it's gone on to there, which I don't want it to. So I'll get a bit of a tissue and wipe it off. Three warts and all, folks. I'm trying to save my skin here, that's what I'm trying to do. So I've made a pig's ear that bit, but I'll sort it out, I'll put something on it. Blackbird singing there. I'll, I'm gonna, it, it's a bit. It's a bit. I'll put some green onto that. That'll cover that up a bit. Make this a bit closer. So you can get away with it. Oh, you can make it better. Put it that way. But what I like about this this uh, live stuff here, it's you're seeing as it as I get it, and, and we, we all get it wrong sometimes. Now, what that happened there was the the trees weren't dry enough, and then when I went up towards it or near the bottom of that dark stuff, it blended into the bottom of the the, the, the grassland and sort of spoilt it, if you like. Not to worry, we'll get out of it. We've got the technology. And it's just using some of the colours we've got already. So what it's doing, it's making, it's made me make this foreground here a bit stronger to get over that little mistake I made there. So you don't have to abandon it if you get a dodgy bit. We all have a bad day at the office sometimes.
but I didn't look too bad there now. But I'm going to, because I've, I've done that that uh, that edge there, I better put some on this this side here to bring this forward a bit here. Just once you make one mistake, like that, you've got to do this, haven't you? Let's get this this bit done here. See, you, you you also pick up tips when when people go wrong. I was once doing a a, a, a demonstration at Earl's Court in, in London, and there was about there was a, there was a cinema there for about three or four hundred people. And I was doing this demonstration, and it was, and I was doing this like a like a, a, a woodland scene with people, and I put these people in, and I could tell straight away as I was doing them, they were too small, the people. In other words, the, 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 the woodland, the, the, look, the trees look absolutely massive. They look like giant redwoods. And I thought, I'm, I'm in trouble here. And of course, and this is all live. I, I can't do anything about it. I can't, there's no hiding place. You've just got to get on with it. So I had a, I had a, a quick little thought. And I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll put some dark in there, but while I'm, while I'm talking, what is so I so I put I said to the people, I said, right now there's the children in. I'll put some adults in now. And of course I put some people twice as big as them. And of course the wood looked alright then. So I said, you do, you don't always get it right. But that, that got me out of trouble. Anyway, so we 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 kept cracking on with this. And I what I haven't done, we don't want to be talking, I haven't put any branches in that tree that we've made, have I? We need to put one or two branches in here, just to just to show the branches coming through like that. That'll do. Now this path, I better dry it a bit. I've got one of these this colour all over the place, don't I? So I'll dry it a bit. Sorry about the air dry up. safe now with that <laughs> it had a little run right the next thing I want to do is there's a there's a path there isn't it so we better put this path in now I've got some of this 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 is that that rossy and ochre stuff I've still got some of that left I'm not going to waste that so here's our path we'll pop the path in shall we of course with perspective it goes narrower into the distance doesn't it it's all a lesson on perspective it works just the same in li in life. There we go around this corner. And of course, that's 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 the, that's the the undercoat, if you like. It's a bland colour, but it's but what it is, it means the tonally, it's the same value here at the front as it is at the back. So we've got to change that and make this front come as though it's coming towards us. It's closer to us. So I'm going to have a, that, that sky colour, that, that dirty brown, that burnt umber. I'm going to add a bit of that into, into, the, into it now, into that mix. And put some, some in this front here, like this. Of course, I'm, I'm going to use it as a, with, with perspective to give me the direction of the path there, like that. That brings that. Closer to us. It, it's it's in other words, it's it's not all the same same colour. And in fact, when it's really near the front like this, I'll mix with some of that that ultramarine stuff and that burnt umber just there. A touch of that. 
get it really dark. And let's see if I can drop some of this stuff in the in the forum. More burnt umber in because it's it's, more, it's brown in that. Yeah, a nice darky brown. And put some twiddly bits in like that. Because it, it, it's a rot, it's a rutted path if you like. So we can get that down here. But keep away from what around there, we don't, we don't want any, any detail up there. With that wet brush, I can soften that into there like that. You see, so it's not harsh all the way. Right, there's a bit of a pole here, I better put this pole in as well. Here again, it's wet, so I better be careful. I better dry it a bit actually, that, or it's, I don't want to be in trouble. this because it's narrow and I'm going to paint it just initial the under coat if you like the initial color is this ochre or raw sienna I'm going to paint this like this now, the beauty of this pole it comes out of it clears the, the horizon which nicely links this foreground with the sky. So it gives it unity. It's not an accident that you, you do this, it, it does help. Let's get this pole in. What I'm trying to remember at the same time here is where the sun's coming from. Oh, always remember where the sun's coming from. So it's coming from the, the left, isn't it? So the right hand side of that pole will be darker. So we're going to mix a bit. Let's use this sky colour, this, this cloud colour up here. Use some, pinch some of that if you've got some left. And on the right hand side, put a, put a dark in there. So therefore, the, the pole is then is then it's it's got shape. It's got a sunshine side and a dark side. Don't piddle about with it. Just leave it like that. It, it should be all right. Take it down to there. And of course, when, when you when you're in twiddle mode, there is such a thing as twiddle mode. You know, you got to be careful. You can, you can start putting this stuff in the, the grasses around the base of it. Because they, they, I don't know why, but they seem to grow around there. And of course, you get the, to, to link that to this, you, you've got it's rough stuff around here, so you can put that. That will link the path to the the, the, the side side stuff here, like that. And put in what you like. You see. foreground stuff. You know, all this all this does it, it it brings it brings it forward for you.
And of course, it's really dark in the in, in the bottom side here, like this, on the undergrowth. Toys that down there. We know where the light's coming from, don't we? All I'm using down here is that, that stuff I'm using in the sky, that cloud, that dark cloud colour. Nothing special, just using up the stuff I've got on the palette. And of course, you, you're going to get, with this tufted there, you'll probably get a, a sign of it. Edge of the grass there showing, and some up there showing just there. Right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stopped fiddling down here now. I, I just I got carried away then. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll try and concentrate on the mill of it now. This is a, a little bit we've got to concentrate on. Let's see, now we've got these sails. Now the sails are slotted or slatted, whatever you like to call it. So what I've got to do is they, they're still got the same problem with the light and stuff like that. But bef before I do that, I, I should, that top is there, it's just a bland white now. And the, the right hand side of it will be in shade, won't it? So I'm going to shade it off a bit there to make it just here. This is in shade, which immediately gives that top a bit of shape. This 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 bit's white at the front here. Now I can start sculpturing this with with a dark colour. So I'm using that sky colour I've got. So you don't have to use lots of colour, just use the same stuff you, you, you've got handy. Let's, let's indicate a, a bit of a, a dark, there's, there's a sort of a, a pinnacle there like that. One down here. These, these struts here are going to be, have a dark down there, a dark underneath there. A dark to the right hand side and one under that there. The struts will be dark just there, strut, 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 strut. And this uh, the, 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 this mill, it's I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit of that. It, it, it's a nice got it's got a nice the, 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 each, each miller by the way, if it, if it was a mill, it have their own uh, colour indication on the top here. So I'm going to try and put in just a, a show of colour on the top of this mill here like this. Just blend it round that mill. Bit of dark around the outside edge there. Twiddle it on a bit like that. And a spin to the middle. That'll do. Right, the, the sails, I'm, I'm onto the sails now. I want to sort of put a dark on the shadow side of the sail. So you're going to get one there, aren't you? This I'm using this chisel brush, which is handy for things like this. Instead of just a flat white thing, it's got the shadow has given it shape, hasn't it? Don't have to be perfect, just just indicating it. I said the viewer will fill it in for you. One 
here. Down this side, the one of the center, the center pin one. in the middle here where this this thing is same same treatment on this one a bit more water on that a little bit more fluid It's so handy this this little chisel brush I call it because it, it, it's putting the shadow in for me in a straight line which something is more difficult we try and do it by with a rig or something like that so that's indicating there's one up there to do as well we've got that one to do have not we better put that one in One up the centre one. Down to the, the spindle, the, the pivot at the middle. The one on the inside of that. On the top. One under there as well. One across there. That's the top of them. No, the, the I haven't put the doors in yet, ever. So I want, I want some doors. I tell you what, it'd be nice. It's got it's got a red up there, so we'll have a red door as well. That's what that's what really set the neighbours talking. So we'll have a red door here for him. I like a red door, really stands out, doesn't it? Now, of course, it's, it's going to, it's going to be, it's not, it's not on the building, it's set in the building, in, inside the brickwork. So what we've got to do is, as the light's coming from the left there, it's going to have a shadow on the underside of the, the, the door there at the top, it's going to have a shadow there, look, like this. And also one down the left hand side where it's where it's set in and they, they, they close the shadow on the on the brickwork there look. There. So we know that. And then there's uh there's this there's a door in this one. I'm not gonna put, put another red door in it. It's uh, the the like the poses and I'll not that I'll put a dark brown door in. No one too flash. None of the neighbours talking. Dark brown door. But it'd be nice if we did a, a little a little window in there, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So you can see what's in the shed. And of course there's a bit of a fence in the foreground there, which we'd have put in, I've, I've indicated. One, one about here like that. It's, it's, it's not being cured, it's, it's, it's a bit rickety. So we need to put these in randomly. I don't think you see the uh, see the, the wire across it from here, so 
So I'll just, just put that there, and then put it down to the, we'll post down to here like that. Right, now the next thing I want to do is, a, a person, what about a person? We'd better have a person, wouldn't we? That'd be nice, wouldn't it, a person? Or, or Fred, Fred coming up the, he's coming up to the mill. Is that dry? So Fred's here. He's 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 not got there yet. So he's he's, he's walking. Put him in here. That do Fred. Is he? See, size is important here because, as I said, remember the the trees I did in that 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 lecture and that that demonstration, that big demonstration. I got that wrong. So the beauty of this is, Fred is walking towards the mill. So we'll get him, we'll put him an arm in somewhere like that. Put him down here. Put him some legs in. It's always best to put legs in. They look much better. And Fred is... He's, he's quite a nice lad, he is. Dark-haired lad. Of course he's going towards the mill, so all I'll see is the back of his head, isn't it? Which is lovely. He's up towards the mill. Of course he's in shade. Is it still catching the sun? So there'll be some sun under his elbow there, under his arm. Some on this side of his jumper. And I think we'll put Mabel with him this time. This is his, his, his wife now, but she was his girlfriend at the time. So we'll put her in here, and she's got... I'll show you this. This is, she's got a cadmium yellow jumper on. Now cadmium yellow is opaque, and it will cover that green. Watch it. She's, she's smaller than him, but she's beautifully marked. This is, this is Mabel, lovely girl. Now you can tell that, tell that they were courting because they're very close together. She's, she's, she can be holding something down here like that. And she's got these, these jumpers and that, she, she, she had them a while, she got them in the CNA clothing down sale. So, so they're, they've had them a while, but they, they, they are so comfortable with them. They, and same with the jeans, they've got matching jeans as well. So she's got the jeans on, like him. She walks, she's walking down there like that, off she goes. But what's happened is that I've been too keen. And I've got that yellow run into the trousers, haven't I? Which I don't want. That'll do. And then of course, she's she's uh, a redhead. No hair, just a red head. So uh, I'll have to put her a red head in, or red hair, so to and let's there she is. Long hair. The reason it's long she's in lockdown, see, and she can't get it cut. So there, there she is. She's walking towards him. You can see a touch of love there. It's, it's, it's touching. And then of course there'll be a shadow under her armpit, won't there? Because just there and down here. Right, let's get some shadows somewhere, shall we? We've got two people walking down the path towards this. There's this big pole here. Uh, let's have a look. Shadows. Now, sh I've told you what that shadow colour is. That's, you know that sky colour we use, that ultramarine and burnt umber. 
that is a lovely colour for shadows because the colours are transparent and whatever's underneath you'll see the colour of what's underneath as well that's important so so uh, we can say that uh, the light's from there so oh don't forget Fred and, Fred and Mabel they'll, they'll cast a shadow won't they across here as they're walking out This pole will give a shadow as well, won't it? And of course, you'll, what you'll get is also you'll get some shadow down here as well from these trees, these bushes. Put some down here. That'll bring that towards us. Some down down here like this. I love the shadow of it because it it really brings a thing to life. And also, this uh, the, the on this side of the building here, or just here, there's this this overhang. And there'll be a shadow under there, like that. See, the be shadow. This side of the building will be in shade here. And also the little shed at the end will be in shed at this side, won't it? And these little things, it makes the, makes the thing jump into three dimension as opposed to a flat piece of colour. The mill down that side, I think we'll just get a touch of... I might get it... Just an indication of sort of shadow from this 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 top here under there and perhaps an indication of shadow from that that mill down there now then I look for a dodgy bit in the sky if there's any dodgy bits Put a couple of birds, or three birds in, put three birds in, and then it'll, be, it'll get, uh, it'll look a bit more authentic. I don't like that jumper of, of, of Mabel's, it's, it's, it's blend, I've, I've done it while it's wet and it's blended in. Well, It's an old jumper. It's not that old, so I'm going to I'm going to give her a, a, a refresher. Oh, she'll never forgive me. Now then, that's better. She looks a bit brighter now. She's ready for the walk. That's it. Maybe she'll leave that bit of shade on that side. That's all right. But there, she's she's ready again now. That's much better. She feels happier herself. Fred's okay. Is he's, he's, he's everything happening? I don't, there's a bit of a bit, a bit of uh, a bit of a gap I've left there, like a white white stuff, just here. So I bet I just just kill this white stuff off just down here. I don't like to see a bit of paint I've forgotten. That's up to the path there. Yeah, we'll stick a couple of birds in. Now we'll have some crows here. Although it's coastal, we do get crows as well on the marshlands. So I'll put a crow coming down here like this. Perhaps one up here. There. That window's not very good. I'll, I'll, I'll restate that window before I finish. 
And of course I forgot, what I did forget was that. That is going to give a shadowy area in there as well, isn't it? We'll have a little window in that, that little lean too. And then restate this one here. Now I say I'm looking for things to do now. That, that, there's one thing I don't like it that that uh, where that pole is, the the grass because it was wet has crept over that pole. I'm just going to restate it again there. Right, now's the time to take the brush off me because it's uh, I'm fiddling. Uh, this is a, a, a Norfolk Mill. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. This one, it's this is lesson number ten. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give us a tick or an up subscribe and we'll send you the details of the next one. And uh, thank you for joining me. And goodbye until the next time. Bye-bye.